All right, here we are, December 27th, and I got a good update for you. The side and the whole back of the house should be sided. But first I have to put on my muck boots because we got like three or four inches of rain, so it is a mess out back. Look at that, the boss man even gets on the ladder every now and then. And you're really gonna go there? <laughs> it is Monday morning for you, right? After a long weekend? That siding looks pretty, though, I'll tell you that. Nice. Golly, look at that. Looking good. Make sure them cuts are straight there, pal. I'll do my best, huh? I want laser sharp straight. It'll be good enough for Somebody who else needs to cut it. Good enough who it's for. That's yeah. what you were going to say, wasn't it? Uh-huh. We finally got some sunshine. Yeah. All right, the insulators are prepping for the insulation spray tomorrow. So everything's got to get covered up because it's going to be foam spray first. And then they hit these with foam in there, stuff like this. Uh, that should get sealed up with foam Foam insulation, I believe. All right. We also have water lines throughout the entire house. I Believe the water and sewer is now finally done Plumber's been working weekends moonlighting So that is excellent All right now it's quiet in here. Everybody's gone. It is uh just about all prepped for the insulation tomorrow. And I asked the guy to especially go around for me, which he did, which is awesome, and seal up all of these lights, everything exterior, before they insulate, to try and keep them daggum Asian beetles Dag out. Deal. If you live in the country or even anywhere that gets them dang Asian beetles in the fall, you will know what I'm talking about. They are hideous and they stink up your whole house. Something fierce. But this house is gonna be tight, baby. And the foam that they're using around the windows, I asked Ryan, it's it's called minimally expanding. So it's not gonna expand and, and uh, warp them windows where you can't open or close it. Trust me, been there, did it. That's why I know. And here's the outside. Top part is almost completely sided, and that side is all the way done. It's gonna look beautiful. I got a spotlight going up there that's super huge and LED, so they have to build some kind of block support up there because it's really heavy. But I'm gonna really light up this yard back here that LED spotlight it's gonna be pretty sweet all right well here's the future bar gotta use your imagination it's uh, <laughs> laying out in the shed right now and it's pouring rain I can hear it but this is what the bar is gonna be this will be the main part I think it'll have about three stools and then there's a lower part uh, for the plumbing and uh, refrigerator or something else and then it wraps around as an L, and so there's like a, a two-foot part on that side. And I haven't cleaned them yet. You can tell they got uh, a lot of dirt. That had some termite stuff on it, but when I clean it up, it'll look really good. But these are from an old tobacco barn that we had on a farm when we were in Kentucky. It's got to be over 100 years old, and I purposely put a... A broken off one and also one with termite damage. There's our future bar. All we gotta do is add some whiskey, some water, and lots of imagination right now. That was a view up on the ladder, so I can give you the picture of it. But uh, here's the wood a little bit closer up. Purposely looked for some that had more gray, some that had more red. Uh, of course, the nail holes. It was actually harder to find a broken board than what I thought. 
I think we threw away a lot of the broken ones. That was pretty silly.